Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Mass key skill video on finding a length in a trapezium given its area. Remember that a trapezium is just a quadrilateral with one pair of parallel sides. Now we're told the area of the trapezium is 16.5 centimetres squared in this particular case and we want to find the length x. Now we're used to having all these three lengths and then using that to find the area, but we want to go backwards. But the principle is exactly the same. We can use the area of a trapezium formula and just sub stuff in. So the area of trapezium, remember, was the average of the parallel sides. So if you have two parallel sides A and B, we do the average of the parallel sides, which was A plus B over two, and then we times it by the height of the trapezium, so the height. So we saw that in a previous video. And as I said previously, we would have had these three lengths. So we would have had A, B, and H, we just shove into this formula, and that gives us the area. This time, we've got the area. So we can put in the area as 16.5, and then we can put in what else we know. Our two parallel sides are A and B, so we've got five and X, so five plus X over two and then we're timesing it by the height, which is three. So we've substituted all our values that we know into the formula, and then we just need to work backwards to work out what x is. Well, five plus x divided by two times by three is 16.5. If we work backwards and we divide both sides by three to get rid of that times by three, so divide both sides by three, 16.5 divided by three is 5.5. .5 and that gets rid of that times by three. Now we've got five plus x, that was divided by two to get 5.5, .5. so working backwards to get rid of that divided by two, we times by two, both sides. So 5.5 .5 becomes 11, and times this by two gets rid of that over two, leaving just five plus x. And then x plus five is 11, we can just minus five from both sides. That gives us x on the right, and we get six on the left, and the unit is centimeters. So that's the final answer. X has a value of six centimeters.